the title of this book is The Ideology of Darkness. Its author is unknown, but the book can be obtained by searching the bookshelves in the Grand Library on the Archaeus House of the Great Corinne on the continent of Zayn. Hope you guys enjoy. The Ideology of Darkness It was upon a summer's day when seated in the garden did one of my pupils approach me. Master, he inquired, of the altar yonder, I hear some say it is a power of light, and yet some say it is a power of darkness. Can these not both be true? It was not without coincidence that I had spent much of my previous day pondering this very same conundrum, as the subject had arisen in lectures and so I had expected this question in the forthcoming days. I replied, To answer that question, you must first decide what is light and what is darkness. I see you, master, said my student. I interrupted quickly as I expected this response. Do you really see? With light you can see, but with darkness you cannot see. How can you answer the question when half of it remains hidden? My student looked puzzled. Master, if half of it remains hidden, I must look harder to see if I can see the other half. That is correct. And how will you look for what is hidden? I must search harder for what I seek, Master, and continue until I find it. But, I replied, if the darkness is too great, you will be searching as a blind man without a stick. That will ultimately lead you to failure. Then I must find a stick, Master. What would be better than finding a stick? I prompted. Do not be blind, Master. I felt that we were nearing the end of our conversation, stood and walked towards a grove of trees. My student followed. And how would you not be blind in the darkness? I asked. I would bring a light, my master. And how would you find a light? Master, I would search for the light, and when I found the light, I would be able to search for what is hidden in the darkness. For many students I have seen, they would have finished at this point realizing the revelation they had reached. However, this student was very thoughtful, and his next question continued the conversation. But Master, if I have a light and find what is hidden in the darkness, it is no longer hidden or in darkness. That is correct, I confirmed. So how does that relate to your original question of whether altar yonder is of light or darkness. Master, I believe I understand now. He left the garden with his lesson learnt and the darkness in his mind now light. And with that, we've reached the end of the ideology of darkness. This book seemed to be about a pseudo-philosophical lesson between a teacher and student. I don't know whether this book is meant to represent the course of learning in Zaya with youth, or whether it's more of a direct reference to the altar. But the light and dark, I think, is a direct reference to understanding. Because even though they use the power of the Dark Altar, I don't think those who use it fully understand what it's doing, particularly with the necromancy aspects of it. And in general, it seems to be very heavily metaphored with light and darkness and finding a light. It's definitely a metaphor for some. So leave a comment down below and feel free to explain what you think it means. But maybe there'll be more lore on that in the future. So stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow with yet another audiobook. Peace.